with 10 at 10. You get your first forecast, your first stories, your first sports, and much more all in the first 10 minutes. Our 10 at 10 first story, it is a historic night in Selma. Nine-term incumbent Mayor Joe Smitherman ousted by runoff opponent James Perkins. With 87% of the precincts reporting, Perkins beats Smitherman 5,668 votes to 3,712, or a margin of 6040. Our Isaiah Harper begins our 10 of 10 team coverage from Selma. Isaiah, you are with the mayor-elect. This is a moment of history that the people of Selma want to share with their new mayor. That's right, Bob. We're live here on Broad Street, the street that runs right in front of City Hall. And the man who will soon take the leadership position inside of City Hall is joining me now. Ladies and gentlemen, James Perkins, Jr., thank you for joining us so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I know it's been a hard day for you, haven't it? It's been a full day, a complete day. We started at about 3 a.m. this morning. It's been going constant, and I think it will continue for a little while longer. Let me ask you, now that you are mayor-elect, last night we talked, and you said that you thought you would win because you are an humble person. How will that humbleness take Selma into the future? Well, a lot of people felt that this election was about Perkins and Smitham, and it was not. It was not about black or white. It was about faith and fear. We delivered a message of faith, a message of hope to the people, a positive, constructive message about our vision and direction for our community. The people heard the message, the people embraced the message, and now it's just a matter of packaging the message so that we can move forward in unity. You mentioned that a lot of people thought this race was about Joe Smitherman and James Perkins or black and white. Now that you say it's not, how will you tend to recover Selma from that thinking? Well, truth and reconciliation was one of the planks in the platform. We'll stick to that in the administration. We will form a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. That commission will become the basis and the foundation for the healing process in our community. Right there in your victory speech earlier, you said that that Selma will now put its, will now put its past in a museum. What do you mean about that? Well, we have a very rich Civil War and Civil Rights history, and it rightfully so belongs in the museum. We're going to put it in the museum, and then we're going to charge people to come see it. And we'll be looking for the world to come and visit us. Bring your tourist dollars. Selma has living history in it, and we'll just embrace all who will, will, who will be willing to come. Thank you so much, Thank Mayor Elect. For, Thank you for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you for your interest in our community. And, of course, the man that will take Selma into the future, in his own words, moving forward, united. That is the focus of our 10 to 10 first story. Victory with a smile. Mayor elect -like James Perkins turned that smile into words. I announce this evening yeah. that Selma yeah. is open for peace. Perkins says his campaign has not been about him over his opponent, Mayor Joe Smitherman, or black versus white. This campaign has been about yeah. faith and fear. All right, all right. And After 37 years with the same mayor and now a new one, Selma voters shouted in the streets. Give somebody else a chance. That's right. And thank right. you, Joe, for all you have done for us. This the hell hole of the south has not tweaked to be a place of hallelujah. <laughs> Praises are now coming from the mayor elect ministers. We waited for this day. For now, 36 years, and the Lord now has given us the victory. I love you, Selma. I love you, Selma. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And you heard Smitherman there just a second. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, James Perkins there earlier saying that he intends to start his business out in Selma by forming a Truth and Reconciliation Committee to watch over economic development and education here in Selma. So, reporting live here from Selma, Isaiah Harper, ABC 32, where news comes first. Thanks so much, Isaiah. In the meantime, Joe Smitherman is the loser in tonight's election in Selma, but that's after winning the office nine times in the past. Continuing our 10 at 10 team coverage is our Dave Price, who joins us now live from Selma. Dave, obviously a somber night in the Smitherman camp. Definitely so, Didi. When we talked to Mayor Smitherman on August 22nd, the night of that primary, he knew that today's race would be very, very close. He knew he'd have a tough battle over the next few weeks. And 
Today, about 45 minutes after the polls closed at 6 o'clock, he knew that it was his time to concede. I condemn this family for bringing all these people from all over the world in here and something they had no business in, but Mr. Perkins ran a good campaign and he won, and I respect him and uh, I concede to him and congratulate him. Mayor Joe Smitherman took just a couple of minutes conceding to his challenger. He then spent the next hour or so thanking his supporters for their hard work over his 36 years in office. Some of those supporters say they can't help but be disappointed and angry about Smitherman's defeat. I'm glad to see people uh, from out of town that are interested in what's going on. I just wish we could have had a little cleaner race than we've had. Other supporters are upset about Alex. Made history. That's because Perkins will become the city's first black mayor. Incumbent Joe Smitherman, a former segregationist, has run the city for the past 30 years. It's been time for a long time coming. It's time for a change. So I think uh, we will move forward. Perkins, who won with 57% of the vote, says the change he'll make as mayor is to unify the city, which has been divided between racial lines. What we have in Selma is an opportunity to change our direction, to change um, our image. And we're going to do that uh, in, uh, in first, uh, first class style. On the same night he makes history, Perkins has vowed to change the future history of Selma for the better. Sarah Baumgartner, WAKA Eyewitness News, Montgomery. Perkins says he's spoken with Mayor Smitherman, who has promised to help provide a smooth transition into office. Perkins says anyone of, one of the things he wants to work on as mayor is economic development. To celebrate, their horn honking and singing lasted well into the night. It's because Perkins received 57% of the vote and defeated nine-term incumbent Mayor Joe Smitherman. This was Perkins' third attempt to defeat Smitherman, a former segregationist. Perkins says Smitherman has promised to help provide a smooth transition into office. Perkins' focus to rebuild the town economically, help lower the county's 10% unemployment rate, and promote equal opportunity. And became our news editor. We Jonathan McKelvey of the Selma Times Journal. Most people are working and want their kids to have a good education. They want to have good jobs. And they want to have just an inkling of an idea that maybe their kids won't shun the idea of coming back to Selma. A city where childhood dreams I guess this will be my new office. can come true. <laughs> Rodrigo Whitfield, NBC yeah. News, Selma, Alabama. And that is NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. Thanks for watching. I'm John Siegenthaler in New York, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow night.